mean, I tore both of my hands up, bled through like wrist wraps and everything. I was like dripping blood from my hands after that. You start almost blacking out a little bit, and that's when you're like, wait a minute, let me stop for a second, breathe. So yeah, I mean, you kind of just feel it though. You feel yourself getting a little bit weaker, and that's when you just cool out for a second, take some breaths, and then hop back on. Yeah, they're gonna be totally smoked. They are gonna be laying on the ground, flat on their back, wondering what just hit them. People are naturally competitive, and at the, the clock starts, three, two, one, go, and you've got 15 athletes all moving together, and you know they want to beat the person next to them. It's gonna push them a little harder. You know, we've got people with different goals in here. We have some guys that are looking to be competitive CrossFit athletes, and then I've got our other at folks that their goal is just to get fit. CrossFit really stands for is being uh, an all-around athlete, being really good at a lot of things, but not really being the best at one given thing. And then around two and a half is where it just really starts to suck. That that weight, you know, and the, your heart your heart level just races, right? And you can't catch your breath, and you're really not like it's not like you're doing sprints, but you're just moving such heavy weight um, so quickly, and, and so much of it, like, you're just you're just dying. When you sweat and work hard next to someone, it builds a sense of trust and camaraderie uh, that you really just don't find uh, in other places. The thing about CrossFit is to not stop moving, no matter how much it sucks. Just keep moving, no matter how fast or how slow. Stay on the bar, stay on the, you know, stay on the the, the workout, the the movement you're doing. And just just keep get it done. So that's all.